Hello, editors. In this video, I am revealing the secret of that clean word by word fade in plus slide up animation inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive in. Drag down a text plus layer from effects menu. Write down your text and choose any font you like and adjust its size and position. Now head over to Fusion by clicking here. Select your text node and hit Ctrl plus C to copy. Then hit Ctrl plus Shift plus V to create an instance node. An instance node is basically a linked copy of an original node, allowing for simultaneous changes across all link parameters. Now go to the Shading tab and right-click on Enabled. Select the instance and uncheck it. Now select the fifth element and right-click again on Enabled. Select the instance and check this box. Now in appearance, select this solid one and change level from characters to words. Select the instance node and drag it on the left side of the screen to see it in the first viewer. Decrease the horizontal value until you see these gaps. Then go to text tab, right click here and select follower. Open the modifiers menu and go to shading tab. Select the fifth element and click enabled. Make sure you are on frame zero. Then add a keyframe to opacity. Then go to frame 25 and add another keyframe. Go to the previous keyframe and set opacity to zero. Now, as you can see, the animation only appeared in the instance node and not on the actual text node. So to fix that, take the output of the instance node and put it into the blue input of the text node. Now, the animation affects both of the nodes. Then under follower, go to timing tab and increase the delay value to 1.6. Go to Transform and change it from characters to words. And while being at frame zero, add a keyframe to center positions. Open Followers tab again. Now go to frame 25 and add another keyframe to center. Again, go to Previous Frame and change the Y value to minus 0.11. Okay, finally the base animation is done. Now let's add some sauce to it. Open the spline editor. Select instance template. Hit Ctrl plus F to see all the keyframes. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Then right click, ease, and select out cubic for smooth animation. And select your text plus node. Go to settings and add motion blur. Set quality to six and shutter angle to 280 degrees. Put your play head on frame zero and head over to shading tab. Select the first element and click enabled. Here you can also change your text color if you want. Oh, by the way, if you haven't liked the video yet, hit the like button and comment the next tutorial you want. Now select the text plus node and hit shift plus spacebar to open effects menu. Search soft glow and click add. Adjust the values to give the look you want. Now select the Glow node and hit Shift plus Spacebar again. Search for Drop Shadow and click Add. Adjust the values according to your background. Mine is black, so it doesn't really matter. And finally, the animation is done. Congratulations. And this is how it looks like. But before leaving, subscribe the channel to see the upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.